a slideshow about where I'm from. I hope you enjoy it. My mother is from Norway, and my dad grew up in an orphanage in Boston. He served on the front lines of Korea and fought in Vietnam. In Boston, they met, fell in love, were married in Norway, and embarked on an amazing life. Dad was a navigating officer on the SS United States along with the President Roosevelt. Dad took Mom on a voyage around the world where they would secretly sneak off the ship while in port and have fun together. They lived the most amazing life of travel and adventure and experiencing new cultures. My dad was a sea captain, but my parents left their home in Pacifica, California when my dad was offered a job as a Panama Canal pilot. He accepted and they moved to the canal zone and lived on the Atlantic side of the Isthmus of Panama in the town of Gatun to their new jungle home. As a Panama Canal pilot, Dad took all kinds of amazing ships through the Great Canal. He eventually became a senior Panama Canal pilot and was put in charge of having full control over any vessel that came through the canal. Their life was the best. Then the oops baby was started. Nine months later, mom was medevac from Coca-Sola Hospital on the Atlantic side to Gorgas Hospital on the Pacific side, where I came into the world and was thrown right into the ocean to join the rest of this crazy family. My father was also a naval commander and did a lot of secret work with the military. He went on to becoming airborne and would jump with the special forces. Soon after that, the U.S. liberated Panama from the dictator Noriega and U.S. soldiers would guard our home and even guarded Cristobal High School where my siblings attended school. Life was a wonderful crazy ride and the best place to grow up. My father taught my brothers Eric and Paul to surf and soon after they also taught me to surf, explore the jungle, how to fish, and I took up the same love for the outdoors with all my friends. Life was wonderfully simple. My Viking mother and dad even taught me how to survive the jungle. Soon after, my nickname became Mowgli. I learned how to pave a new way, how to shoot a rifle, learn how to navigate, and observe the endless ships through the Panama Canal that my dad took me on. He even let me help him pilot a ship through the Panama Canal. It was everything life was supposed to be. It was absolute paradise. Then, on December 31st, 1999, Jimmy Carter and U.S. government illegally gave away the Panama Canal and the Canal Zone and all of the American towns. We all lost our jungle homes. In the year 2000, we moved to our new home in sunny Florida, where I started a new life and adapted to the American lifestyle. My family brought me to Australia, where I really started to excel at surfing. This led to a competitive career in the United States, which soon evolved into a profession. It has taken me on to a new journey, to a world of being a spokesmodel, endorsements, advertisements, allowing me to experience many new cultures and lands, and to also spend time where my mother was raised, in Norway. But most importantly, to see this amazing world. My father, who had always been built like a rock, had everything change on the day before Thanksgiving in 2006. Life came to a very big halt. My father suffered a massive brain hemorrhage, was in a coma, and almost died. It was the darkest times of our lives. We practically lived at the hospital for six months to improve dad's health. Family, sea and military friends, and our church never stopped praying for dad. We did everything to try to bring dad's memory back to who he was. We would even break the rules to get dad outside of the hospital to exercise him in the fresh air. And with dad's go for broke attitude, it allowed him to come home. Since dad couldn't speak, we asked him if he would like to write one thing. What would he write? And he wrote, never quit. That was all we needed to fuel us to keep pressing on. Mom wanted to see her sea captain take charge again, and their love continued to grow ever more. We trained Dad, and my brother Eric and Shiner Rain pushed Dad to walk again, even with a cardboard roof on his head to keep the rain off. We would carry Dad down to the beach so he could get back in the ocean again. Even though he had a feeding tube in his stomach, 
we devoted ourselves to making his miraculous recovery a success. I would never take for granted my body that works in this amazing world we live in again. I had contemplated walking away from my career with everything that had happened, but in the midst of it all, my family encouraged me to give it my best. And after being at home for six months without surfing, I headed into the U.S. Open in July 2007. It was my first event since my father's tragedy. And with nothing to lose, I went out there with a load of thankfulness that my body was fully equipped with everything I needed to win And I entered the event with no expectations and ended up placing second, the biggest highlight of my career. With the buzz of doing well in California, I went on to Haleiwa, Hawaii, knowing that if I could get one more good placing, I'd be the first East Coaster to qualify for the women's tour since Lisa Anderson. Sure enough, luck went my way. With the support from sponsors, friends, and most of all family, I qualified for the ASP World Tour for 2008 and returned to Florida, where my family and friends threw a surprise congratulations party for me. In 2008, I started the season in Australia, where my mom and later my father and brother joined me. It was quite a big deal for Dad to travel that long way, and it was back to the old days of my buddy Steph, and now we were still competing together here in Bells Beach. The good times were in full swing again. Our family used to camp in Australia years ago, And here we are, able to do it again. We continue to nurture dad back to health, and our fishing buddy was coming back. I learned a lot in these past 20 years. To never quit and never give up. And my dad says hard work pays off, and it really does. And through it all, something keeps tugging at me. Tugging at who I really was, or or still am, that girl who grew up in the jungle by the Panama Canal. I am so fortunate that I'm healthy and live the life I do, but within competitive surfing and all its training and craziness, I'm still searching for that amazing escape. I guess all of us have this intense desire to escape our hectic lifestyle and live that adventure that was in our dreams when we were young. So... Here's a glimpse of how I made my escape. I hope you enjoy this escape as much as I did. We must never forget to follow our dreams. So let's pack our bags, really live life, and take that amazing journey. Let's escape around the world. Go again, Dad. Three, Bubba, two more. And four. And one last one, last one. Big last one. And five, drive up. Good man. Never quit. Yeah. Never.